we'll just sift through the graveyard, you know, normal people shit. Wait, <laughs> I know you. You know, no one will give a shit. We're just, we're just gonna look and see, like, <laughs> we'll go around and be like, yeah, I'm looking for, uh, oh, is it one of your family members? No, it's a fucking bandit. <laughs> I just wanted to check it out. What's their name? Uh, Edward. <laughs> How do you know about this person? Were you, like, actually friends with them before they became a band? No, I found a journal from a guard. I stole it, actually. <laughs> When we had last left the last Dragonborn, well, they were inside of Riverwood trying to cut a man in half, and they kind of succeeded as best as you could, but more importantly, they headed out over to Whiterun, where more seditious acts were being unleashed. Indeed, instead of helping out Mafala, this time, it seemed as if they were thwarting Mafala's plans by way of ending an assassination attempt on Jarl Balgriff. But in the process, they got a pretty neat bow. <laughs> now it was time to do more similar bullshit out in the White Run hold. This is the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Welcome back. Zoop. Oh, oh, ooh, there we go. <laughs> Let's head on out. There we go. And, of course, in between videos, I did a little snooze. A little bit of inventory management. All that good stuff. Now, let's refer to my handy-dandy notebook here that says at the top of our list, we should check out the Dragon's Reach dungeon. Okay. There is a journal on a table in the main hallway what are you looking that maybe at? we have intended to. Hmm. Let's go take a look. Get our speedy time active as well. Good, good, good. Alright. Continue on. You know what? For all the chaos and danger, thank goodness this dear sweet moo cow is safe. Right? The low res cow with the tail that looks just suspiciously a lot like a Khajiit tail. <laughs> huh. Do you think this is, especially with how it's like grafted on, you don't think this is like the same like mesh used for a Khajiit tail, huh? Cause this looks very little like a cow tail and way more like a Khajiit tail, doesn't it? Am I right or am I fucking right? Like what if it's just a lower poly count for the Khajiit tail, you know? Like, look at it. It looks way more feline than, like, whatever cows are. <laughs> you know? Look at it. It looks like a very feline kind of tail. It looks very Khajiit-y. Just obviously lower res and maybe fewer polygons. Maybe not even fewer polygons, right? Who knows? For all we know. <laughs> Listen. If you know a thing or two about the development process of Fallout 3, you will know that toward the end of Fallout 3, the main story, there is a tram, right? And that tram moves. And the way that it moves is that it is a hat on a man who is walking underneath the ground. And you go inside of this guy's hat and he starts walking around and it's like a tram, right? That's how they pulled it off. A miracle of game development, if you ask me. What if the same is true here? What if inside of every single one of these sweet moo cows is a little Khajiit? Like, twisted over like some kind of s disturbing human centipede situation. With its butt just aligned, just right, to where the tail pokes out like so. Because look at it. Look at how fucked up it looks. Like, you can even see the seam there. <laughs> I don't know what to make of it. I don't know. Huh. Because obviously, I, I would have to assume that the moo cows, right? They must be using a lot of the... Like, they're just a rehash of the, like, rigging and models for the Brahmin of Fallout 3, right? I would have to assume that, and that's why they're so, like, low res and everything, right? 
they were just a quick, okay, we, we need some, like, livestock. Let's put this together and all that, right? Thank goodness we have Brahmin from Fallout 3, and thus it made it into the game, right? Of course, Brahmin in Fallout 3 ain't got tails like that, I'm pretty sure, you know? They, they're like, they're, they're like naked, relatively speaking. So they had to get the tails from somewhere. <laughs> I don't know why I said it so sin with such an air of of a uh, sinister delight. <laughs> they had to get the tails from somewhere. I'm like uh, the heart in Dishonored. It'll start talking to you. <laughs> They're getting the tails from somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good lord, Heimsker. This is the Dragon's Reach dungeon, though, right? Yeah, okay. So. Journal on table in main hallway. In main hallway. Okay. Oh, is this it? Oh. <laughs> Dude, I fucking love it. I'm screwed here. See Belathor at his store. Man. That's so fucking funny that they made it to where he would do the same shit in here. Like, I know it's, it's, it's like, not that difficult to just make him do the exact same shit, but I love that they made him do it. <laughs> alright, alright. The Crimson Dirks Volume 3. We'll take this to read later when we have them all. And I'm assuming this is it. Death of a Crimson Dirk. Oh, we didn't get a quest or anything. Huh. Or maybe we will when we put it down? Okay. The bounty for Edward, one of the Crimson Dirks, had been up for about a year. Pretty much every Jarl had a price on his head, but only one of them had to pay it. It was a big deal at the time, but to be honest, I'd forgotten all about it. But then, last Sundas, this Khajiit starts barking at the gate about wanting to speak to the captain. Says he's been after Edward since the moons themselves were suckling babes. I told him to head over to the cemetery in Falkreath. He'll find the bastard dead in the ground, where the worms feed. I wasn't sure if it was disbelief or disappointment on his face when I broke the news. I wonder if he has to do... if it has to do with the story in the book. If so, I can't imagine how far he's traveled to get here. But ever since I lost my small fingers, I haven't been able to... I haven't been one to count. Ah, there we go. I bet we have to head over to Falkreath for that. Yeah, okay. Cool. I've heard stories of bandits being an issue throughout Skyrim. At the dungeon in Whiterun, I read about one such bandit who died in Falkreath. I should visit the cemetery to confirm he's dead. <laughs> yeah, why are we just now doing this? <laughs> How many times have we heard about some fucking dumb shit that bandits have been getting up to? <laughs> I love that just finally, it just strikes us so that like, better investigate this one. <laughs> How many different times have we heard of bandits like, oh yeah, I'm going into the Dwemer ruins to like fuck around, hope I don't find out. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go fucking- <laughs> I'm gonna steal some potion, hope it's not filled with poison. Oh, I'm gonna read a book that doesn't have anything inside of it. Hope someone doesn't sneak by me to fuck me up. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> fuck. I love it. I love the, like, weird alternate world of Skyrim in which, like, a lot of the Creation Club takes place and all of that, where, like, I don't know, our Dragonborn seems to- like, give more of a shit about minutia and, like, small details than- than would- you would imagine from the core game, right? Because, of course, like we said before, they have the opportunity to fuss over such details, right? Anyhow, let us head on over here. And... Oy, what's our best way to Falkreath? Can we- can we go straight to Falkreath from here? I think we can, can right? Where do you want to go? Been a while since we- yeah, okay. Climb and back and we'll <laughs> I be I forgot. Alright. There we are. Sound feels Very good, eerily huh? quiet. Good. Alright. And then... We'll just sift through the graveyard, you know. Normal people shit. Wait. <laughs> I know. You know, no one will give a shit. 
We're just gonna look and see, like... <laughs> we'll go around and be like, Yeah, I'm looking for, uh... Oh, is it one of your family members? No, it's a fucking bandit! <laughs> I just wanted to check it out. What's their name? Uh, Edward. <laughs> How do you know about this person? Were you, like, actually friends with them before they became a bandit? No, I found a journal from a guard. I stole it, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking strange. <laughs> All right, let's go on over here. Oh, here it is. Oh no. Oh shit. Letter from Irwin. Okay. What's on your bod here, friend? A mage hood, leather armor, leather boots, some glass gauntlets. I'll take the sapphire and the gold. I'll apply the poison. Oh, can't be done. Already poisoned. Okay. Khajiit's note. Investigate knife rip knife point ridge. Fuck off. <laughs> I just, how many times have we been to knife point ridge? Isn't this the same one, or am I thinking of a different knife or or ridge related area? <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. It's called Khajiit's note. Hang on. Where the fuck is knife point ridge? Is this not? Oh my god. It's the fucking same that we've been to, right? Isn't this the one that we were just at not too long ago? <laughs> people fucking love Knife Point Ridge. Listen, people fucking love Knife Point Ridge. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's read the Khajiit's note. Khajiit finally got a lead on Edward. It seems he and his bandit friends fled north to Skyrim. But when he spoke to the guard, Captain, he tells Khajiit the bounty on Edward has already been claimed. A ripe old adventurer showed up to the barracks on a horse, dragging the Breton's corpse behind him. They tell Khajiit the body is buried at the far end of the cemetery in Fulcris. Khajiit will take a shovel and dig him up. After all, there are ways to die and not be dead. Khajiit has heard of potions that mimic death, slowing the heart to barely beat. If so, then Edward might still be out there. To that end, this one has heard rumors of a bandit wearing Daedric plate plying his blood trade at Knife Point Ridge Originally, Khajiit did not think Edward the type to live in an abandoned mine, but now he is not so sure. Edward may have fooled the guard, but Khajiit won't believe he is truly dead until he sees it with his own eyes. Oh, fuck. And he was not! Man, even more weird that, uh... I'm not the first person to come out here and do this, right? Huh, okay. Letter from Erwin. Who is Erwin again? I don't even know. Dear brother, are you well? I heard this terrible rumor. <laughs> do you like this? You know, this is just one of my impressions of one of the famous voices of Skyrim. <laughs> I heard this terrible rumor that you died. You always said I'd be the one to kill you. That wasn't very nice of you to break a promise to your only sister. Oh, shit. Sorry. This is just... This is Erwin. <laughs> Unless there's another sister you didn't tell me about. So now, you're not only dead, but you're a liar, too. Tisk tisk. Who writes that in a letter? Come on. What are you on the fucking internet writing out... T-S-K? What is this? Anyways, I, I know you'd love to read, so I'll keep this short. Let me know if you're not dead, so I can come over and hug you with my knife. Oh, shit. Signed, Erwin. Okay. Sure. It's fine. This is just how Erwin sounded, right? One of the guards said he saw a mage appear out of thin air. Claimed it was one of those Sigic monks. 
God, I really hope that they have more going on as well in Elder Scrolls 6, right? It almost feels like... Right, we touched on this, like, ages ago. But it does truly feel like what happened here was set up for something more to go on in the future. And they would make kind of the perfect group to sort of work with as a player character for a main quest. Maybe not so much like a side arc or whatever, but for like the main quest for them to be involved in it. If anything, it, it almost felt kind of like shocking how closely tied to the main like socio-political situation of Skyrim the College of Winterhold arc was. You know, with regards to the Thalmor and like the Eye of Magnus and all of that. Okay. Let's head on up over here. Good. And of course, they're also kind of more closely tied to the main quest. Even uh, on a lighter, in a, in a more gentle way, with regards to the fact that you totally bring Elder Scrolls to the library there. Huh. I guess maybe... Maybe the College of Winterhold arc was made after the main quest? I, I can't imagine that work like that, right? I have to imagine that, like, a lot of the arcs were being made in tandem with one another, right? That sounds way more plausible for development rather than just, like, one at a time. Otherwise, it would take, f like, five million years to get the game complete. Oh, hey. Look at this wiggly fucking noodle lord over here. What the hell? Is this the same dragon that's always been out around this part? Is this the one that I, like, put a short up of recently? Yeah, this is it, isn't it? This is the same fucking dragon. <laughs> yeah, it's an elder dragon and everything, right? This is the one that changed its, its like, scale color. This is the one that, like, appeared inside of the Markarth door. This is it. We must have just entered, like... This must be right at the border of what's considered to be Markarth's, like... I don't know region as far as the game is concerned right as far as like on a more technical end not so much the lore because I'm pretty sure we're still very much in Falkreath country right now okay let's head on up here oh shit yeah we've totally been here very recently because remember we we went right up this didn't we oh fuck didn't we yeah, I think so. Okay. Oh, look, it looks... <laughs> yeah, great. Okay. Oh, shit. They're all back. Okay. Oh, dear. Okay. Hey, is that one of them right there? That Yeah, that's the person we're looking for. Oh, shit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna quick save just in case. They look pretty heavily fucking armored. Oh, they're a bounty hunter. Yeah, that fucker is running. Okay. Shit. All right. Let's check these bods here real quick. Nothing good. No. Nothing good. Yo! They're hitting up fucking temporary Mabel. There we go. Got at least one more left. Let's blast him. There we go. Good shit. I love that line so much. <laughs> I fucking love that one. Oh, hey. Oh. Wow. Were you all, like, snoozing and losing big time? I feel like that's exactly what went on. Ooh. There we go. All right. 34 Quatlus. Minor Magicka, I guess. Good. Ultimate Magicka. Weak Paralysis. Hmm. Purple Mountain Flower, Taproot. I'll take the Taproot. We really shouldn't be taking any of this, but I can't help it. Alright. Cool. 
Daedric Plate Helmet of Eminent Health, Eminent Illusion, Eminent Sure Grip, and Fire Suppression. How bizarre. Okay. I guess I'll take it all. Bounty Hunter's Note. I first met the Breton that <laughs> and are they Dunmer? No, they're, it's a it's a fucking Nord. All right, it was just the time of day. <laughs> I, I was already like, I was like fucking that ain't a fucking Dunmer voice. What am I doing? <laughs> right, because at first I my first inclination whenever I do a Dunmer voice is always to do like the OG fucking Morrowind Dunmer voice, right? And, like, cannot- my headcan is, like, that is 100% how my character sounds, right? But, this is just, like, a fucking Nord, I think. I don't know for sure, though. I first met the Breton at Dead Man's Drink. Said it was poetic, given what was inside his bottle of wine. I ain't much for poetry myself, and I wanted to know what it paid. And pay it did. I would have been okay with just gold. But he insisted I take his armor, too. Not sure why he'd want to give up something so valuable. But he said it would help sell the story. A dead man has no need for protection. I could have reminded him that he wasn't really dying. But you know what they say about a fool and his gold. So we shook hands and he downed the drink. The next morning I rode into town with him as my bounty. And sure enough they buried him in the cemetery. Just like he said they would. Back at the inn, I asked him if he needed me to dig him up. He said, D I didn't have to. Someone else would. Uh. Huh. So that Khajiit maybe did actually dig him up, or maybe there was someone else as well. Even before the Khajiit. No, I think that's, yeah. The Khajiit dug up the, the buried bandit and then leapt out and then killed them? But then who was Erwin? Oh, fuck. Yeah, I don't know. I'm having a difficult time piecing it all together with the Crimson Dirk shit. Probably because it's, like, impossible to know, like which order you want to go through and all that, like, which one is the first one and all that, because you would, in order to know that, you would have to look them all up. Maybe by way of reading all of the books in chronological order or in proper order, it will make it make more sense. Maybe. Okay. Should we just deposit this shit over at Hendraheim? Hmm. I mean, even if we don't, we should go to Hendraheim because we do have other stuff that needs to be put over there. There we go. Yeah, we're quite close. We should do that. Yeah, we've got all these fun weapons and, and whatnot that need to be stowed away. Stowed and or displayed. Maybe we put all of the... Here's a... Yeah, here's a good idea. Maybe we should put all of the alternative armors in our, like, refuge? Or maybe at Mirror Watch. I forget. Were there armor stands at Mirror Watch? I can't remember. Maybe I'm just conflating it with all the, like, different weapon racks and whatnot. And there's actually very few armor racks. Definitely at the, like, Shadow's Refuge or whatever. There were a whole bunch. A whole bunch of armor mannequins, I should say. All right. Ooh, that creepy little place. Oh, it is very creepy. That was Glen Glenmoral Coven. Goodness, we haven't been here since the Companions, right? Came out here to get some, like, witch heads. Okay. Is that our place over yonder? No. That is the nearby Bandito Run mining camp. Okay. Can I just get up here? <laughs> I think I think maybe we can. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Perfect. All right. And then from from Hendraheim, I think we can 
call upon the might of Odiving, right? Holy shit, look at this. This is looking pretty fucking precarious, huh? Ah, threaded the needle. Okay, good. All right, fantastic. Good. Now, let's head on in. And we'll toss up a few of our fun items, right? Let's see here. Where can we even toss everything, you know? We've already got a lot of these places taken. Hmm. Like, this one is mostly all set up with cool artifacts, you know? So let's just toss, like, gold brand there. Perfect. Okay. And then over in this one? Yeah, it's all kind of fucked up. Here, maybe if I quick save... And then quick load, doesn't that usually fix it? Nope. I forgot what I, what I normally had to do to get him fixed up and everything. Huh. There was definitely a way I could do it, but I don't remember how. Oh, eh, well, what can you do? Alright. Let's throw some alternative armor here. I think we will bring it ultimately to the refuge. But for now, we'll just throw them up here. Why not? There we go. And what other kind of a cool weapon we got? We got the Ebony Blade, Bow of Shadows. Eee. Okay. Huh. Oh, Ebony Blade. Perfect. Right, yeah, because that's from the core game. Okay. Huh. Well... This would kind of be the perfect place for him, but... <laughs> can't activate any of that. Okay. Sure. Well, What's we'll have hurry? to figure it out at some point. I think someone had written in before as well with advice on how to reactivate him, but I cannot fucking remember for the life of me right now. Okay. Sure. Well, Bow of Shadows. Where should this one go? Do we have space over here still? That one's all filled up. This one's all filled up. Shit. Look, we've been taking too much cool shit to Hendraheim, huh? Too much good shit is here now. Alright, we'll just toss it into the treasure chest then. Fuck it. Okay. There we are. Throw that in there too. Good. Okay, we have anything else weighing us down? I mean, we got all these ebony arrows. We may as well toss them in there. Okay, good. And let's sort by weight. Okay, looks fine. Over here, any, like, craftable or whatever items that we need to stash? None particular. I mean, I can stash this stuff. Bliss bug in a jar. Okay, sure. Yeah. We can also stash our madness and amber ore out here at my typical ore zone. We'll just head on over here. Good, good, good. Got a little, like, burlap sack out here that I use. Oh, no, wait. I use the treasure chest. My bad. <laughs> I don't even know why I use. Okay. Sort by weight. Sat in there. Might as well pop those in too. Oh, you know, I should have put the green butterfly in a jar in there as well. As well as the purple butterfly. Okay, you know what? Mistakes were made. <laughs> Alright, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Let's let's head on down and do a quick snooze. Alright. There we are. Run all the way through here. Sleep our ass off. And then, we'll call upon Odiving, right? We'll go for 12 hours. It'll be almost 10 a.m. It should be warm enough. All right. There we are. And let's get Call Dragon readied. Beautiful. Head on out over here. Is there anywhere specific that we need to head to? Here, let me cross this off my list. Okay, so we dealt with that. Dealt with that journal. Okay. Whiterun Guard Barracks. Okay. 
Sure. I don't know how many times we've even been in the Whiterun Guard Barracks. Not to be confused with the dungeon itself, but you know, the barracks are like near the main entry. Okay, call Dragon. Hold a bean! That work? Sounds like it. Good. Okay, and then bend will. And we'll wait two hours. Oh, perfect. Got it in one. How can oh, I fuck. serve you, <laughs> Thuri? Okay. I love it whenever Odaving lands and we just start, like, popping into third person. We're just, like, fucking sliding around all over my whole ass. <laughs> I love that. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's head on over back to White Run. There we are. Great. Oh shit. Oh god, please don't crush the game, dude. Oh god, Odaving. Fucking I will A. Look for a spot to land. Are you really though? You don't look like you yes, are. Yes, Thuri. Yeah. <laughs> Let's recombobulate and try it again. Yes, Thuri. There Buckled. we go. I will land at once. Oh, you're doing that thing where you're kind of gradually flying off into the distance as if you want to take me to, like, a fucked up place. Okay, okay. <laughs> I will okay. look for a spot to land. Are we good now? Okay. Whew. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, God, I thought we were going, like, on top of the fucking building. I had no idea you could land over here. Okay. Sure. Good. Let's head on back into town. Pop a quick save, just because we got out here. Safe and sound. Oh shit. I don't have any more... Dova... Juice. <laughs> I don't got any more fucking thooms left in me, baby. I'm all thoomed out. Okay, we'll just hoof it for now. All right, here we are. Good. Okay, where do you think Odaving hangs out at? Maybe just flies all over the place. Be funny if Odaving like came to live at Dragon's Reach. I don't know. That seems a little fucking buck wild, all things considered. You know. Oh, right. Oh, wait. Yeah, we're going the wrong ass way. Aren't these the guard barracks right here? Yeah, I think the last time we went into the guard barracks was at the very beginning of the playthrough. When Whiterun was under siege by, like, the fucking Macho Man Randy Savage fucking dragon. All right. Wow. It's wait. quite small. I know you. Okay. Guards dossier. Yaktu Gra or Kolg. Status active. Capture or kill. High priority. Description female orc late forties. Background. Yaktu Gra or Kolg was a former blacksmith at the Stash and Slash in the Imperial City. Oh fuck. Huh. Aren't we familiar with the stash and slash? I want to say, or maybe it was the smash and slash. I feel like it's it's super familiar the name, but maybe it's slightly altered from how it was like a couple hundred years ago. A shop she inherited from her father. She was contacted by the Crimson. Du Wait, she inherited it from her father. I wonder if we knew her father then. Like our character in Oblivion did. No way, because how long do orcs live for if they don't, like, die in combat? Yeah, that would have been, like, like, do orcs live for, like, potentially, like, a hundred plus years? Yeah, this dude would have, because in, in Oblivion, already, he's, like, at least 20, right? And that's being generous. I feel like 
he seemed like a 40 year old like grown ass man you know huh I don't know anyway she was contacted by the Crimson Ducks and recruited to forge arms for the bandits as well as launder sacked goods through her shop when the Imperial City Guard issued a warrant for her arrest, she fled the city with another member of the bandit gang. Operational notes. Yaktu was originally thought to have fled to High Rock and taken refuge in an orc stronghold. However, according to our informant, she actually traveled with another agent to Skyrim. Reports on unusually well-made weapons and armor being peddled out of Embershard Mine may be related. This information should be forwarded to Commander Caius in Whiterun, as the mine falls under his jurisdiction. Oh, we have to go back to Embershard? Smith and Slash. I feel like it wasn't called the Stash and Slash. Maybe it was the Smash and Slash, or... I don't remember. It was something in Slash, I think. Maybe it was Hack and Slash? That feels too on the nose, but... Again, what else was Oblivion, if not that? Bandits have long been an issue for the people of Skyrim. Oh. At the guardhouse in Whiterun, I found a dossier that has information on an orc blacksmith forging weapons for bandits at Embershard Mine. Okay. Sure, let's head on back. We must have missed it the first two or three times we went through. <laughs> she was just hiding. Very carefully smithing. Very quietly. She put like a... <laughs> she muffled her... Her smith's hammer. <laughs> put a water bottle over it. She made a makeshift silencer. You know, she put a an empty water bottle over the end of the hammer. <laughs> no one could ever hear it. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Let's make sure we got this. Yeah. It is at Ember Shard Mine. Okay. Sure. We'll ride back. Why not? Let's do it. There we are. Good, good, good. Weirdly, we, we have actually been in and around Riverwood a fair bit recently, right? Weirdly, it, it kind of worked out that way. Huh. I don't know. Maybe, maybe you kind of go through Riverwood and Helgen a modest amount throughout the game, you know? Hmm. Because I feel like there's never been a period where we haven't been there... Like, where, where it's been like a long stretch of time where we haven't gone back. I don't know. I guess everybody wants you to get in a little nostalgia for the beginning of the game after you've been like... wandering around for so long and all that, right? Alright. Let's skedaddle on up this way. Good, good, good. Man, it'll be so wild when Starfield hits. Because that's going to be even fucking bigger than this. And, like, Fallout 4 maybe even combined as far as, like, bespoke content. Certainly as far as, like, more generated stuff is concerned, right? With regards to, like, just open air places on the planets where you can just build whatever you want from what it sounds but even like the the like handmade good shit that'll be just like massive swathes of shit everywhere huh all right there we are ember shard mine you would think that that would imply that there's ebony ore there but that is definitely not the case. I don't even know why it's called Ember Shard Mine. I mean, it's a cool name, but you know, in a place where like an Ember Shard with regards to mining, that really evokes like, <laughs> you know, some vaguely volcanic sort of ore. But I want to say there was no ebony in there whatsoever. Okay, here we are. Oh shit. Let's get Sunder ready. There we go. I want to say the last time we were here, the dude out front also had a beard. I 
don't know for sure. Though. I think he was definitely like fully bought. Drink his lucky mead. Anything else here? Nah. That said, you know what? In Skyrim land, I wonder what the percentage of uh, beard to no beard is. You know? What's the ratio on that? I don't know. Okay. Like, of the characters that could have a beard, which ones do? How many- what percentage of beard havers are there? Because you know everybody was one to fucking show off that, like, sweet beard tech after Oblivion, where fucking, like, only one NPC or whatever had a beard. <laughs> you know? <laughs> fucking nobody had a beard in that game. Look. Is that the armor we're looking for? Looks special. I don't know if that's it. Okay. Let's wait for them to get a little bit closer. <laughs> Good lord. Yeah, look at that fancy looking armor, huh? That's gotta be something, right? Orcish plate. I feel like that's probably it, but that's not the the bunch that we're looking for. Okay. Sure. What's down here? Got anything good? Nah. Some ore veins and whatnot, but no. We could sleep here if we wanted. Okay. Where'd the other body go? Did it like fall off into the water? There were three people, right? <laughs> Am I tripping balls or were there not three people? Fuck, I don't know. <laughs> They're going forever. <gasps> Alright. Let's see. Up and over this way. Good, and when we activate this, doesn't someone go across and they're like, What the hell happened? How'd the fucking bridge come down? Oh shit, I guess not. Whoa, okay. Look at this. Old Skyrim's got more twists and turns for us than we can even handle. How about down here? Ah, skeletal dude. A tattered journal? Oh, I guess the journal respawns too. Or it's, it's just another person. <laughs> it's a different person every time. <laughs> It, it's the curse of this Ember Shard mine. Every time they write the same thing, it's so weird and fucked up. Okay. Let's head on over here. Definitely some folks in here, right? Yeah, I can hear the smith. There we go. Oh, yeah, look at this. They're all equipped to varying degrees with the good stuff that we're gonna get. Okay. Oh, you Never seen should have come here. Okay. Funny how all the bandits and shit are still, like, low level again. <laughs> they haven't, like, amped them up or anything. Okay. Amethyst. Oh, Orum's Aquatic Escape. Hey, it's one of the new ones. Should we take it? The book looks kind of cool. Yeah, maybe we'll take it. Okay. Anything else around here? White caps. Empty sacks. Oop, maybe some salt. Hell yes. Okay. Good. Green apples. I'll just munch on them. More sacks here. Oh my gosh, look! All the baskets and shit that I hoarded from the beginning of the game. <laughs> They're still here! Oh my god. Wow, you know, I still get comments about people <laughs> from- Not about people, but from people saying like, I can't believe this fucking jackass is just taking all these fucking- <laughs> No, well even better, it's- it's not- it's not so much- Cause usually if you can't hold back, you talk as if like, I'm still in that moment of the game, right? 
like um it's comments on the very early videos where it's like you know you don't need to take those or whatever right like as if i can do something about it <laughs> right now <laughs> maybe i just take them right now huh maybe i just take them all back maybe i do fucking need them you don't know <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. There we go. Eat a butt. What have you got? You got anything good? No. Same as before. Alright. Let's try and do a special maneuver. <laughs> Look out! Oh shit, you are actually leveled up. And wielding like a Daedric fucking axe or something. No, I think it's like Nordic. Oh dear. There we go. Pull you down there. There we are. Let's top off our gauges here. Good. Wipe you out. And one more. Like an old woman. Oh, you got explosive arrows there. Okay, yeah, the fire arrows. There we go. Good. Okay. Let's head on down here. Good. Eh, nothing much. Okay. I don't really mind the the weird comments so much it's just it's just a funny thing that always struck me of like because i don't know i guess i guess whenever i would leave comments on other people's video i would always be somewhat like keen on like okay obviously i'm making this at the beginning of of a playlist and they're way further in it so i'm going to like ride it out with that in mind right but some people they're just like flying by the sea of their fucking pants and they're just like yeah Obviously, this will help. <laughs> I don't know. It's just like a weird, fun little thing to to like. It's just part of, part of doing it, right? It's just part of doing it. It's, it's not like a complaint or whatever. It's just a fun fact or whatever about the process. All right. Let's see. What have you got? Oh, a special key. And Yaktu's journal. Oh, gosh, I don't think I can do a convincing like orcish woman, right? I nearly... <laughs> I nearly turned around. <laughs> I nearly turned around. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> I need to hear them again, right? I need to hear them again. Hang on, hang on. We can, we can actually fix that, right? We can... Hang on. Oh, shit! She's too powerful! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I nearly turned around and went, <laughs> went <laughs> and went back to Cyrodiil because Bjormund wouldn't shut up. From dawn to dusk, it was Skyrim this and Skyrim that. We hadn't even crossed the mountains yet, and I felt like I'd spent an eternity in the place. But by Malakath, he kept going. He went on about all the different legends and the hundreds of Ragnars involved in them. <laughs> I like that. Okay. He, he talked for hours about his family and for days about his mead. Sometimes he even sang about them. Silence was not an option. Perhaps if they put that on my bounty, I might have been okay with the rest of it. But as a blacksmith, there was one story I didn't get tired of. The one about the Skyforge. It's an ancient relic watched over by a great stone eagle, he said. Come spring, you'll be forging weapons under its wings, he said. I ate it up, even though I knew it was a lie. The Skyforge was for legendary smiths, and I was a wanted criminal. Unless the guards decided to quit looking for us, I was going to spend the rest of my life crafting orcish plate for bandits, idiots who didn't deserve my work and lacked the brains to value it. Maybe that's what pissed me off the most about Bjorman's tales of hearth and home. We weren't going to be welcome in Skyrim, or anywhere for that matter. We were Crimson Dirks. We had a home, and now it was gone. Wow. 
Man, speaking of Fallout 3, I sound like a fucking ghoul. Alright. Well. Oh. Is this it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Sure. I'll take the full set. You can set it up on display somewhere. Neat. Should I take the- look, the iron ore has already been mined. I feel like I should. Oh, this is your special key to your secret stash. Of various ingots and ores. Huh. Okay. Neat. Cool. Okay. Where's the, like, end of dungeon super chest at here? I feel like we should at least investigate that. Probably nothing super worthwhile in it, but, you know. We gotta take a look. 33 gold, corundum ingot, water breathing, minor magica. Oh, look at all this fun money here. Very good. Empty barrel, empty sacks. More of them emptied out. Large sack here, three salt. Not half bad. Oh, four salt in the barrel. Okay. Sure. Anything else here of value or interest? Nah. Could check those sacks, but you know what? I feel like we got plenty of salt now. I'm feeling good about it. Holy shit, I can't believe I made that. <laughs> okay. Was there actually gonna be, like, another bandit? No. Oh. Oh, that leads back out. Okay. Maybe we already found the trash the treasure chest then. Okay. Sure. Huh. Fair enough. Let's see. Where was Where's one of those like sleeping bedrolls? Back this way, right? I think yeah, here we are. All right. So when we come back We'll continue our adventures in doing weird miscellaneous quests. We still got a few more for this hold, right? But in between videos, I'll get us uh, all rested up and whatnot. Until next time, please take care of each other.